When my son was newborn, he spit up all the time. We had all of these cotton gauze swaddle blankets and we would go through at least one a day because they would just get covered in spit up. And I had the opportunity to go through a lot of these different ones and see what type of fabric really held up the best. Now obviously these are all double cotton gauze, but there are different qualities of the cotton gauze. This one right here is from a cheaper store. These were all pre-made. None of them are handmade, but it still helped me get a get a chance to use the material and see what they were like. So that was a cheaper one. This is kind of a middle of the road guy. Um, I think he, he's from Target. Um, but then I got these beautiful ones right here that are from this very high quality baby boutique and uh, they're thick and luxurious. They really soaked up a lot of liquid, which with a baby is really important. Sorry if that's disgusting, but it is just kind of the truth. They wash up really great. So now I am starting to think about sewing with this material and I wanted to find material that was closest to this beautiful, luxurious, high quality boutique fabric. And um, as I've been collecting different kinds of material, I figured I would share what I learned. So as I first started ordering some double gauze to sew with, so I went on Etsy and I ordered some from a seller who was located in South Korea and she sent me this stuff. And it's beautiful, it's very, very delicate. Um, it has a beautiful drape to it. Um, it would be amazing for a scarf for an adult, but it was just too delicate uh, for a, a baby. In my opinion, I tried to sew with it a little bit, but it, um, because it's so delicate, it frayed really easily, and I just get nervous uh, thinking about seams splitting open and fraying when a baby is using it. So this stuff is beautiful, but I decided I would set it aside and use it for a project for myself rather than a baby project. So next, I found out that Hobby Lobby sells cotton gauze, which was really exciting to me. It's priced very reasonably. I believe it was $9.99 originally, and then it was 50% off on the day that I purchased it. So about $5 a yard is a really great price. Um, the, the feel of it was a lot sturdier than the Asian gauze that I got. This stuff, uh, it didn't have a brand name on the bolt I, when I asked the Hobby Lobby employee about it. She said that uh, her guess would be, since it didn't have anything specifically on the bolt, uh, that it would be the Soology brand, which is the Hobby Lobby brand. So we're going to assume for the sake of this video that this is the Hobby Lobby brand of double gauze. It has a better feel to it. Um, the weave, let's see if I can get closer. There we go. The weave is a little bit thicker together. Um, it feels a little sturdier. Here it is compared to um, the other uh, more delicate gauze. You can see this delicate gauze, you can see right through. It's a very delicate weave. And this is a lot sturdier. I mean, you can still see through it, but not quite as much as um, the other gauze. So I was excited to find this. It still wasn't quite up to par with this amazing boutique-y stuff, but it was good enough that I felt like I could sew with it. And the third brand of cotton gauze that I tried was uh, by Shannon Fabrics. And Shannon Fabrics, if you are familiar with Minky, that super soft, um, kind of like fur material. That um, is something that Shannon Fabrics really does beautifully. And I love their quality of their minky and I was excited to try their double gauze. Um, when this came, I was very excited. It did feel so much, um, again, just a step up from the Hobby Lobby brand, a small step up. Uh, it felt sturdy. I felt like it would work really well for a, a baby swaddle. Online, this stuff runs for about $11 a yard. 
So about the same price as the Hobby Lobby uh, stuff, but the Hobby Lobby has the coupon option, of course. So um, I did really like how the Shannon fabrics came in lots of different prints. Um, I did go on Hobby Lobby's website afterwards and I found that they did have some more prints that were not available in the store. So they both have prints. Um, I think that I might have preferred the Shannon fabric prints a little bit more. They seemed a little bit more modern and fresh. Um, I, I definitely go more modern rather than cute when it comes to baby stuff. And so I cut off a little snip of each kind, each brand of double gauze and I threw it in the wash and I will wash it on cold and then tumble dry low and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so maybe this is a little over the top but I wanted you guys to really be able to see the weave in these fabrics. So I pulled out my light box. This is one of those boutique um, swaddles and I wanted to compare the weave of each different fabric. This is the really delicate gauzy stuff that I got from South Korea. Um, you can see a little bit of the weave, but I think the thing that really shows it is if I put my hand down, it's kind of ghosted there, but if I put my hand under it here, you can see like right through it. This is just so delicate. So second, we have our Hobby Lobby brand. Okay. So we'll do that hand test again. So here it is under the nice boutique stuff. And there it is. So it's getting a little bit more ghosty. Ghosty is a really appropriate sewing term, right? Um, so a little bit better. Now let's try the Shannon fabrics. So now we have a Shannon fabric one. So again, got that versus that. So let's see. Um, it's, it's pretty close actually to this. I'm really excited to see how it's going to wash up and as it shrinks, if it becomes more like this boutique -y one. Okay, we're fresh out of the washer. These were machine washed and tumble dried on low. Now, uh, on some of these, the care instructions tell you to hang dry so um, keep that in mind obviously with this review however since I have baby items in mind I frankly am not going to be lying drying a baby swaddle you know a couple baby swaddles every single day I'm going to throw them in the dryer so I wanted to see how they would they would do with a machine wash and a machine dry they obviously all crinkled up a little bit uh, from the wash. This is our South Korean. Um, it's still beautiful. Honestly, this is just so delicate that it was a bit of a shame to put this in the dryer. I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't use this for kids and I wouldn't put it in the dryer. I think that I will save this material and make myself a beautiful scarf and I will hand wash that because I don't spit on, spit up on my scarves daily like a baby would spit up on his blankets so it's beautiful but probably not right for our project uh, then we have this is our Shannon fabrics and this is the Hobby Lobby brand they both crinkled up great which I love the crinkles I think that's really fun for a swaddle it it gives it a really fun texture I would definitely pre-wash these before I cut them out uh, the, um, the quality, the feel of the quality, um, actually the Hobby Lobby is a lot nicer after the wash than I had anticipated. It's really close to the Shannon Fabrics stuff. Um, the Shannon Fabrics still feels a little bit nicer, but this is, this is a contender. It's doing well. So now I'm going to, I'm going to compare them to my favorite, that beautiful boutique swaddle. And honestly, the Shannon fabric feels just about the same. Um, and again, this is a very close second, this Hobby Lobby. So in the end, uh, for baby material, I would, 
I would recommend either actually of these materials. However, if I had the choice, I would definitely go with the Shannon. It just feels a little tiny bit nicer. And again, this is a beautiful material, but um, probably more for an adult's use. As always, we love sharing free patterns and tutorials, but we can only do it with your support. Please, please, please consider liking this video and subscribing so that you can hear about all of our new sewing adventures and so that you can support us so we can keep posting them.